guys how are you i hope you're all doing really well <laughs> welcome back to my channel or if you're just joining us welcome to my channel my name is meg and i make videos all about my love of wildlife and nature with a particular focus at the moment of wildlife photography if you want to join us then hit that subscribe button i'm at the loch wanach rsvb reserve to do yes another wildlife photography vlog I don't have any sort of plan today. I'm not looking for a particular species. I don't have a particular theme in mind for the video. I'm just here to see what I see, um, have some fun and bring you guys along with me. I've been spending, I think it must have been the last 20 minutes to half an hour at these feeders through here. I'll give you like a little view through here. Where I have been photographing, you know, the usual suspects, um, blue tits, great tits, chaffinches, actually saw two nut hatches and managed to get a picture of them i've never seen a nut hatch in person before never photographed one so the day and the video is already off to a good start it's a brand new species for me so that's exciting <laughs> I will be using my Canon EOS 80D with my Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens. I've had this lens for about three months, two and a bit months, not three months. I'm really enjoying it so far. I get so many messages like all the time from people asking me whether I like this lens, whether I would recommend it. And I've actually had a few people saying that they bought this lens because uh, of me, which is crazy. So <laughs> I just want to say like as an update, Yes, I'm enjoying the lens um, and yes, I would recommend it. I've been with us for a little while if you've watched my videos for a little while then you might recognize this place as um, having featured on my channel a couple of times now um, including the last video I made here which was my how many species can I photograph in an hour challenge and um, you might remember that was the one where I forgot um, the battery for my camera so I had to go ho all the way home and back again um, as you can probably tell, I have my battery and today I made a conscious effort to remember to put it into my camera. So um, we don't have any of that um, carry on today. decided to leave the, the feeders behind because I probably could just spend my entire life there <laughs> and I'm just walking along the trail towards the hide that sits on the loch to see what I can see there. There's been some great crested groups sighted recently and they were doing their mating ritual and just all of a sudden it just feels like spring and the cause of the, the amount of wildlife and they're just so active and um, it's still as you can tell quite chilly but um Spring is definitely on the way. There are three cormorants out on the platform there, but other than that, it looks quite quiet. Other than, you know, the usual specks in the distance that I'm like, no chance again. <laughs> So I definitely spoke too soon. I don't know where three Canada geese just like they just appeared and I was like, oh my god, like I've never seen these before. So I got some pictures of them and then yeah, I was filming them and I kind of recognised the signs that I, that, like, I thought they were kind of getting a band and say they're going to take off. 
I tried to get a picture of them taken off and they are blurry as heck, so. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> I think they've just stuck a, a head in as well, but it's fine in the other direction. See? Everything's a bit more active at the moment. There's um like I don't even know how many golden eye. Like there must be Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, twenty-five. Twenty-five golden eye. Just chilling out over the other side of the loch. It's quite a lot. Still annoyed about those those pictures being so blurry. <laughs> oh well. got a picture of some um, Cooper swans flying past, so it's been a good day so far. <laughs> Um, for me, today has highlighted um, the thing that I, or one of the things that I enjoy most about this hobby is going out and not knowing what you're going to see and just seeing like things that surprise you and things you don't expect, you know, going to a hide where um, um, the wildlife is is baited, let's be honest, um, you know, it, 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 it's exciting to see them, especially if it's um, a rare animal. And you know, if, if you can get great shots while you're there, that's amazing. But sometimes just going to a preserve like this or going out on a walk and seeing things just appear is, is 10 times better in my opinion. But hides are still cool. <laughs> it's it's the excitement I felt when I saw those um, Canada geese and the hipper swans in the nut hatches has kind of reinforced it for me that this is how I enjoy bird watching and, and wildlife watching is not knowing what you're going to see. And also, <laughs> the last video where I looked for those kingfishers, if, if it proves anything, when you go specifically looking for something, it's, <laughs> it's like fate just has out for you and you're not going to see them. <laughs> I started out at the feeders which I thought was a pretty poetic way to end the vlog. It's been a really great day just for what it was, just spending some time in nature but also for seeing um, you know the nut hatches, the hooper swans, the Canada geese, all the usual suspects, photographing the blue tits, great tits, cool tits. Um, yeah, it's just been really great. Um, so thank you for spending it with me. If you are on Twitter and or Instagram, then you can follow me at Meg underscore Montague if for whatever reason you want to see more of me. And if you yourself are a wildlife photographer, then feel free to tag me in your shots. I would love to see them. In fact, I highly encourage you to do so just for my own enjoyment. <laughs> and all this I have to say is thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll maybe see you next time. <laughs>